it's Faith Requiem again, and it's plus time to tell me. Oh, boy. There we go. Now. Faith's Requiem, uh, back with another broadcast of Minecraft. Hopefully the settings are a little bit better than they were last time. We're going back into Avalon. Okay, so let me go ahead and stop real quick and adjust my settings because it hates me. Oh, now it doesn't. Okay. Continuing on. We're just going to ignore the whole freaking thing. Uh, once again, going into New Avalon. Um, uh, on creative mode and peaceful. Because I don't want to really deal with, deal with creepers blowing up stuff I just did. This world I had originally started in survival mode. And, um, uh, my village, the castle that is nearby it, I'd originally built in a cobblestone and wood. After switching it over to creative, I rebuilt a few things using the and expanded into the castle. This is actually my first little I made. I think I added like more to it. And of course, my villagers that are partying in my cauldron. This was my first little living area I built underground. Um, obviously, uh, like, I added after going to create it. Now I covered a lot of this in my last broadcast, but considering I forgot to check the archive after finishing the broadcast, um, it didn't save, and so I'm kind of doing this second broadcast kind of walking around um, to kind of show my nephew and niece. Uh, what I've done um, so far, you know, at least on this world, I've got two other worlds I've got to on it. Um, but we'll kind of do a little walkthrough for my first village. Uh, most of this outside of, like, obviously I changed it. But uh, a lot of this I built while originally in survival. My little dock. So. Actually fishing. I About my map. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff I've explored in this area. Uh, guy here, all of my fabulous villagers. Um, I'd actually started this whole village. I looked up, built the you know village by the dimension five by five and all that stuff to uh, get villagers to spawn. I just, I've only been playing for like a month, okay? I, I'm still relatively new to Minecraft, and so I had no clue that villages and villagers do not spawn in, 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 in jungles. And of course, I had originally spawned like right over just beyond those trees over there. So I just was like, oh, I just, I'm just gonna go ahead and build my spawn. Whatever. Um, anyways, so I actually looked up on, you know, buildings and stuff, my little bunch um, built a lot of the stuff. The towers I rebuilt. Uh, they are originally cobblestone. After switching, you know, I put uh, mossy cobblestone. I added more to it. I did not know you could eat like cows and sheep, okay, or pigs and um, carrots when I was putting them. I was like literally like rounding them up and pushing them I'm in here, and they do not push through a gate. I actually had to take down a, a, a good-sized chunk of the fence and get them in there. So, yeah. Um, probably the easiest one to 
But yeah, the towers aren't anything. Towers are towers. Houses don't have any parts here. Or, you know, nothing real special there. It's just that main tower there. Um, that was my first living spot. Uh, I actually dug into the ground to try to hide. The first time I died actually was had spiders fall on my head. Actually, in there down below, that you know, I just dug down, was looking up to seal up the hole, and two spiders fell on me. So we'll go up to my castle. Originally, it was cobblestone. I've since changed it to end stone. Uh, clay instead of cobblestone and wood with marble accents because you know. But originally my castle was like a couple towers and a main building obviously um since then i have been on it i mean i still have two towers just look out towers nothing real special about them ladders leading up to each other yes i have villagers in my castle I have someone living there when I'm not. So, anyways, this is the entryway of the dining room type thing. House right over here. Got my fabulous kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen is awesome like that. And then I really love building fireplaces. Um, I just I I do. I I've got an immense amount of joy building fireplaces. I'm just I guess it's that easy. And uh, crafting. Yes, I actually put lines on the doors. Crafting room. Uh, the library. It's just a library tower. Um, pretty much every floor looks just like this. So, and then, uh, actually, this was originally part of my mine. And, uh, I mined a lot of stone out of here. Uh, and then uh, my original castle, it was my enchanting room. Well, since rebuilding my castle bigger, I have an enchanting room. So this is now my portal, and uh, went ahead and you know more of my mind going down in. I haven't really used it much, obviously, since. That's here. I mean, eventually I'll probably uh, switch this back over to survival to play or you know whatever. That would be nice. That so I don't have a villager falling down and getting stuck. Yeah, just a little spiral staircase I got going up. Not gonna go all the way up. Villagers are always freaking closing the doors on me, I swear. And yeah, I've got cats. I actually tamed my first couple ocelots while I was still on survival. Now I know that one's was really awesome. Fish. Um, and then since then I've just like bred a bunch of cats from those. As you can see. Uh so yeah, this is or I've got uh, a couple little. The second floor is just like all bedrooms, basically. What's a castle without guest room? Curious. I don't know. But yeah, so got that going on. Got my plants. A larger kind of little castle. And we'll go up the stairs here where the dude's in the corner. I don't know what in the corner, but. The uh, clashing purple and pink carpet with the yellow and red glowstone. I actually really do like the glowstone. Oh, and FYI for anyone watching this, um, I am using the Fantasy Texture Pack for the uh, Minecraft, Minecraft Xbox One Edition. I really, really love the Fantasy Texture Pack. As you can see, I mean, lots of golds, lots of reds. The only problem is, is because this general theme of everything is gold and red. It kind of limits you on, you know, you, you got to be willing to clash every now and then. So, yeah, um, I just, I went in my enchanting room to have the purple and pink carpet. So, you know, screw, screw you, Glowstone. I like you, but screw you because you clashed with my carpet. Cat. I'm actually amazed my actual cat groom on this. Yes. And this is obviously, as you guessed it, my room. Oh, la, la, la. Yeah, with my awesome little, I'm not exactly sure painting, but it works above beds. So yeah, and then I've got this nice little tower going on over here. Little area. Got a little library nook with my aqua car carpet, once again, going green. And uh, just a little greenhousey type ant area. I didn't know what to do. 
Her. Now, go down. There you go. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is the Fantasy Texture Pack. I really, really like this one. Um, the only one that I actually may possibly like more texture pack wise is the Infinity Texture Pack for the Xbox One Edition. Um, those are probably my two favorite texture packs just because I, they look good. They're pretty high definition. Um, they look really great. I got a nice thing about them. Yeah, my little library tower is like four, five. Three. Yeah, that's the inside of my castle. Fly around here. I'll just like take you real quick. Yeah, there's, it, it's got a decent little view of, oh yeah, and we'll be going out in the distance. Not my own like, castle. I've I've been around the place. I've already scouted out the uh, next two spots. I will be building castles in and already planning. Oh, yeah, in another mine. I've actually I've got this this little mine. This one actually um leads down to the water. It's really long though, so I'm not. Gonna... Uh, yeah, I like I said, my little tower. <coughs> Oh, nothing like swallowing wrong. Yes, I tried to inhale my own spit, people. I'm that bloody br brilliant. Um, that's just like the outside right there. Nothing real special. I mean, nothing spectacular. Uh, I do have a third mine. Well, I guess the in the the my little in my portal room. I can't really consider a mine necessarily anymore. But yeah, back when I was in survival mode, I, uh, mode, mode, blah, 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 uh, I'd come over here and mine, uh, the only problem is, is I was really hurting a lot of times for, um, uh, iron, uh, coal, I mean, I just, this area just really sucked for anything outside of stone, dirt, and clay, it really, truly did, um, but yeah, this is my little mining hut, I'd go down there and mine stone, and go and try to find like iron and stuff like that. Uh, not always really successfully. Um, one of my other worlds, I actually have a mine that is just awesome. That the only thing I have not gotten out of it is emeralds and that's in the area and not in the hills. Otherwise that mine is chock full of everything. And I... uh, anyways, yeah, that's, that's my uh, first little village. Um, the whole reason I switched this over from survival to creative was, once again, the whole villager thing. I built this village specifically. I had this whole idea of what I wanted. And I built it. And I waited for villagers to spawn. They didn't spawn. And then I looked up and they're like, oh, you're going to have to, you know, get villagers from another. I'm like, oh. I actually ended up, like, exploring around. I found uh, another village. And then I was like, there's no way I'm going to able to get the materials I need to build train tracks to get these villagers back. There's just, there's no freaking way. I didn't know how to do it. And I was just, I was really upset. I was to the point that I almost deleted this, deleted New Avalon. Um, I was so upset I couldn't have villagers here. And it, it, I did not want to turn it into creative because I'm kind of an achievement. Um, but I ended up going ahead and doing it. I have two creative worlds, and then I have a survival world that is dedicated to achievements. So, anyways, we'll head on down here. I love the jack o lanterns I really do. I love jack o lanterns I love them things. So, this is my little train station. Um, obviously, I've got a little room up top with a nice little view going out over here. So, so yeah, I actually, um, my last broadcast, I had been building this. I, I started building this. Um, my last broadcast, I was uh, basically, once again, doing a tour of over there. That's awesome. an awesome view, actually. That was really freaking awesome. Yeah, you could tell I hadn't actually looked over here before. That's awesome. My castle looks sweet. Anyways, <laughs> pat myself on the back. Um, I had started building the tracks and this particular train station. I don't even know if you can call it a train station. It's got one track. Anyways, um, in my last broadcast, but since then I have finished it and connected it to the village I had found last time, and from there we'll head on out. So, yeah, it's going to be nighttime. I don't know how much you're going to actually... Not a whole lot to see, actually. 
Huh. It helped if I had the mine cart. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Bad boy down. Woo! Going third person view on this. A little fox going on there. Woo. That was a little scary actually. Yeah, as you could see, uh, jungle area, woohoo. Um, yeah, this this took me a little while to build this and everything. I'm not the uh, greatest builder. I'm still learning redstone, so this is about as complicated as I get redstone wise. <laughs> uh, eventually, I hope to uh, get a little more competent with it and build um, some cooler stuff. There's actually a desert temple out over that way that I discovered when I was on survival mode looking for a village last time. You might be able to see it from here. I actually ended up dying in that place. Yeah, it's like right over there. Died there, totally horribly died. Um, had no idea that the floor was going to collapse underneath me. Now I'm much smarter, thankfully. So... Do, 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 do. Wrong. But yeah, you could see, um, that's actually kind of cool looking little, it's like a dog sitting over there, yeah. Anyways, yeah, not a whole lot to see going through here, but, you know, I figured just the redstone light would be more than enough, um, oh, there's my other little train station, my little train house area. So yeah, and we are now to the village. My other little station that I actually just recently up in the desert. This is actually, uh, I've done a few repairs out to. Wow! Okay, those are still floating there? That's pretty cool. Um. Oh yeah, uh, this is actually the first village that I had found the heck over here. I mean, it doesn't seem like that much of a distance now, but, you know, at the time it was like, there was, I was like, there's no way. My village, the, you know, the population here. I've kind of made some improvements, obviously, added some back um, lights up, and stuff, kind of with walkways, stuff like that. Um, yes, personal. I haven't actually, outside of, you know, up areas that have been I have lots of actually I had to come from here I actually when I was here on survival mode I actually took out like most of it. Yeah, it was actually a really bad night. Uh, I just about chucked the controller at the screen. It was just one creeper, one zombie, one skeleton after another. I just as soon as I respond I die. And this is actually the little house that I built Not worried about closing the doors. Uh, yeah, that's you know, that's this little village over here. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and actually line again, just so. Um, there I out. Oh no, that's the other village. That's the other. Village. Um, anyways, so on this particular map, there's actually two villages, and I actually ended up connecting them with a road. Uh, there's a temple over by the other little village. Uh, we'll just kind of fly out this way. Yeah, that, that bridge was a pain in the butt, I just want to say. Of course, you know, the snowy area, I was putting down uh, jack-o'-lanterns to try to help. You know, I probably should put down arms to help them. Off the walkway, but yeah, whatever. I don't care. And then, as you can see, coming into the distance, that is my second castle, which we will get to. In I want to go to the second village over there. Yeah, this is the uh, second village. Once again, I just kind of repaired a few things, and, you know, lights up all over the place. Okay, seriously, I thought there was... Am I thinking a different map? 
I've got to be thinking a different. I know that there was another map on New Avalon that had uh, Desert Town that actually had like a huge temple not too far from it. So I've got to be thinking a different map. Anyways, as you can see off in the distance over there, that is my second castle. That is my most recent castle. So we are going to actually head on up there. We will take the scenic route up there. Assuming I can run. Blah. Yeah, I actually, instead of going around or over, I just went through the mountains over here. I just, I saw the area, I I was kind of debating where to create another castle through here, whether to put it like right by a town or in the middle or something, but this, the freaking plateau over here, the, the top of the mountain was almost level and it was just screaming to have me build on it, so that's what I did, I built on it, and blasted my way through the rest of the game. Hours. Oh! Of course, you know, I actually really like the fact that there's a waterfall right there. I did not do that. That was there. But uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I might eventually make the one. Yeah, I'm kind of up here, but the views are great. As you can tell, um, much bigger than my White Castle. And yes, my husband laughs every time I say White Castle. That is what my other castle is. It's my White Castle. This is my Black and White Castle. Um, uh, once again, villagers living in here. Uh, there's more villagers. Uh, right here with the uh, armor. Area. I've got a little, like, uh, off way there. Oh, yes, once again, fireplaces. Love fireplaces. Come on over and check out. Here's the kitchen. But yeah, it's pretty much similar to my other kitchen. You know, not a huge bit of difference outside being just a little bit. I have like a little battery entrance. Uh, this is my guard tower. Guard tower, guard barracks. Um, the door is just like the kitchen. Tiny areas, like the resting area. And then uh, the top. Ah! What do you think? Uh, gotta be smart. Alright, and then the top two floors are basically like. I'm not even gonna go up to the very top. Exactly like one of the stairs. The carpet's a different color. Oh, and then, um. Well, anyways, up, up there, there's another door that leads out onto the walkway, which is right. Lovely throne slash ballroom area. Yeah, the art the, the art is kind of hit and miss for this texture pack. Um, some of it's really cool and it's some of it's kind of bubbles very like this one over here actually is a little not exactly sure what to make of it. I don't know. I mean I like the texture pack, which is sometimes yeah, this is my little ballroom slash throne room. At my nice little nifty. First, you know, lots of really. That's like I said. I I saw this mountain and it was pretty flat on top, pretty level, and I was just like, I've got to build something. Had to build right, so. I really didn't have to level that much. I built up a couple areas, but you know, beyond that, you know, I just built a little bit of Go up to the second floor. Got a nice little town. I'm still, I don't know why I put green. I, I, I think I was influenced by the ferns I'm 
blaming the ferns. I don't know why I have to be perfect here. I just... Well, this is one of my other favorite towers. Once again, it's a library tower, and pretty much every level is similar to this one. It's just a bunch of books and tables and stuff like that. But, you know, look at the I love the All about the view. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go all the way up to the top. Uh, we got another little test. Four. Yet another one with a nice bigger, a little bit more. We got the royal queen. Fabulous fireplace. I really love that. That's awesome. Ah. Yes. I've got the bath going on over here. The fireplace is actually pretty nice. Ah, nice and I've got the and I've got just another little light. That's that's pretty much for this. Of course, you know I've got my uh, clay ceiling going on in marble and all that stuff. For fireplaces, another big fire. Uh, we'll go up those stairs in a minute. Got this nice building. Got a couple little castles. And with the castle, got a bunch of castles. This is going to be my enchanted tower. So basically, everything is just amazing. And I've got my other portal. Upper get a Though I did not originally find this in the portal room, I passed my notebook. So, you know. That's more or less. Places. And this is like, um, I guess, the servants' tower, servant quarters, you know, once again. Uh, you got your little living area, bedroom, bunk room, whatever. And basically, you know, you just kind of, it's more of the same. This room's like tiny. <laughs> and then uh, the top one is basically just kind of a combo. It's you know, as you can see, living area and bunk area. Oop. That's pretty much it for this castle. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. Um, <laughs> fabulous decorations going on. 
Oh, the villagers just congregate over here. What? Who is dying? I heard the villager dying. Out over there? I don't know. I've given up trying to figure out who it is. Actually, go ahead. Out and do a fly around the, the castle. Oh yeah, I mean, I've got, you know, the little awnings or whatever you want to call them. Decoration. I had a lot of fun building this castle, obviously. It was, just, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And it's definitely, of the two I've got, it's my favorite one thus far. Um, I do have plans. I've got some ideas for uh, castles. I'm planning on going to try to do some sort of glass castle. It's going to be difficult, I know, uh, trying to figure out how to get it to look good. But, you know, I'll figure it out. Um, I want to do a castle up in the air, kind of, you know, build up and then have it suspended in the air. Figure that one out. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, next broadcast, I'll probably, uh, if I'm playing Minecraft, I'll probably be building stuff. and show what I've done, uh, mostly for uh, my nephews and my niece. Now that I actually clicked archive, so I can show them whenever they're able to see it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, New Avalon. Uh, got two other worlds I'll eventually kind of, you know, podcast and explain. I freaking hate the clouds. I really do. And the clouds go through the buildings. I mean, that's, that's freaking insane. That drives me nuts. You build high enough and the clouds just go through the buildings. You'll have cloud inside. But uh, yeah, um, I'll be playing other games. Um, I like playing uh, RPGs. I like playing action, FPSs, you know, a little bit of everything. So, you know, I don't know how often I'm going to broadcast, how regular it's going to be. But when I broadcast, you know, I promise to be doing more than just lying around and talking. But considering this is essentially officially my second broadcast, what can you expect, right? Um, kind of, you know, feeling it out, kind of figuring out what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to be going about doing it. Yeah, this is the intro to New Avalon. So, hope you enjoyed uh, watching and listening to me ramble on. Um, I follow whatever, you know, it's all good. That's all for now.